Why don't you give me a sign? Like the sea that leaves a trail And on that show, it's not your problem, it's mine Everybody thinks that I'm okay Sometimes I think I am too I'm on the outside looking in I'm waiting for the shockwaves to begin Oh, won't you let me hold you for one time? Just a rainy day In a London cafe A London cafe Hello, I'm Sophia Jessica, and welcome to the Fan Carpet. Um, it, for me, it was a chance to a, explore a beautiful country, um, but also work with university students to develop new technologies, things that we'd never seen before in the UK, um, while being able to help Ethiopians in a similar situation to me. Um, I think since I fell ill, the, the more I've got involved in adventure and been away and travelled, the more I've wanted to help people like me in similar situations, um, whether it's the Ukraine, Ethiopia, Namibia, uh, Greenland, South Africa, um, yeah, it's just a real, a real rare opportunity really um, to be able to help in that way and, and to do something that a quadruple amputee has never done before. You know, there's never been a quad amputee on top of that mountain, there's never been a double leg amputee on top of that mountain. So, you know, we broke new ground and yeah, I hope there's a, a lot more uh, adventures like that to come. I, I met the right guy at the right time um, who offered me an opportunity and said that Simon, his best mate, would be filming it. And I was like, this sounds amazing. Um, but I've been on like personal development journeys before and I, I felt that I'd done enough of that and now it was time to help other people like me. So the opportunity was there. I haven't really said no to any opportunity in the last 10 years since I fell ill. So it was natural progression really to head out there and, and do something unique. This is brilliant for me because my mum grew up at Bethnal Green just around the back of here. So this is wonderful for her to think that her son's made it into a film festival on her doorstep really on, in her manor. Um, but also, you know, we, we started filming this back in 2017 and it's taken a long time to tie loose ends to get all the production done. So, you know, it feels great that we can actually be here and people can see that hopefully they see that we, we did a good thing and we had a great time doing it and hopefully we've made a difference to lots of other people in similar circumstance and um, hopefully to a lot of people that maybe think that you know, travel, adventure, uh, doing things that are really bloody difficult, quite frankly, uh, is a step too far when actually it's worth doing. You know, I had the best time of my life over in Ethiopia and, you know, I hope to do a lot more of it. I wouldn't say it's a responsibility, but I think if it, it, life's about a balance. And I think if you can highlight great projects such as this in film and document it the way Simon's done, then that's a real, real, it's a real powerful thing to, to see. And then that's a, that's a driving force for change. Ultimately, that will make a difference down the line the more and more people get to see it. Um, I've been really lucky to be involved. I had a documentary come out back in 2016, and then I've been involved in this one for the last six years. So I've, I've been really fortunate to be involved in the processes. Um, but yeah, I think it's just really important that people get to see not just the efforts of the, you know, me and the other guys involved in the journey itself, but the efforts that go in behind the camera. You know, all the post-production, the production, all the directing, I mean, Simon worked harder than all of us on that trip. And I hope that comes across in the film that people get to see that. Because as, as I'm sure a lot of these guys here are filmmakers, you know that there's so much work that goes into it. And I think they'll really appreciate that actually the 90 minutes that he's created, the amount of effort that it took to get it to this point. I just really hope they enjoy it and they can see that it was worth it. Thank you for watching The Fan Carpet. Please follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram for more content next time.
on the largest of the Balearic Islands, Mallorca. With the turquoise waters of the Mediterranean Sea, beautiful mountainous landscape, the thriving city of Palma, quaint little market towns, a growing number of luxury hotels, it's no surprise that the likes of Audrey Hepburn and Elizabeth Taylor like to holiday here. So come and join me as I take you round Mallorca. Thank you for watching the fan carpet. If you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button at the bottom of your screen. And also be sure to subscribe to the fan carpet YouTube channels. They're absolutely free. That's so much fun too. Be sure to check out the official website, thefancarpet.com. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date with reviews, 